When did the concept of home become so important to the human mind? Is our sense of home instinctive? That is, are we programmed by nature to attach special meaning to a particular place, as if it were somehow part of us? Or is home a concept that slowly emerged after our ancestors stopped wandering and adopted a settled way of life? We don't know the answers to those questions yet. But whatever home was originally, it's now a way of organizing space in our minds. Home is home, and everything else is not home. That's the way our world is constructed. Homesick children know how sharp the boundary between home and not home can be, because they suffer from the difference. I know because I was one of them. In the small town where I grew up, I usually felt close to everything. Then, at the age of eight, I went to spend the night with a friend who lived a few blocks away. As we lay in our beds, and I listened to the cars going by and the wind blowing through the trees, the town around me seemed alien. Something was missing. Something was wrong. And yet, when I returned home the next morning, it was as if nothing had happened. Home was just as it always was. And that's the point. Home is a place so familiar that you don't even notice it. It's everywhere else that takes noticing. The ease of travel has made the concept of home more complicated. If you visit Tahiti or Bangalore or Vancouver, after a few days you may say that you have started to feel at home. But that just means that the not-homeness of the place has decreased since you first arrived. There's a big difference between feeling at home and being home. If you continue to live there for a year or two, at some point the place might really become your home. Or you might live there for decades and still miss your true home far away. Just as we can sometimes gain a new home, it's also possible to lose our homes. Sometimes that loss is only temporary. Perhaps you remember a moment, coming home from a trip, when the house you call home looked like just another house on a street full of houses. For a fraction of a second, you could see your house as a stranger might see it. But then the illusion faded, and your house became home again. Home is a place we can never see with a stranger's eyes for more than a moment. Home can also be lost forever. When my grandfather died, my parents and I went to his house, as we had done so many times before. Everything looked the same as when he had been alive, but everything was different. It was as though something had vanished from every object in the house. They had become mere objects. The person whose heart and mind could bind them into a single thing had gone. That house was no longer a home. Today's world is marked by extraordinary mobility and change. Yet, despite these changes, or perhaps because of them, the idea of home seems more important than ever. Whether the concept of home is instinctive or created, nothing is more natural to our minds than to try to make ourselves at home in the world.